Can you imagine that 90% of the data we have today has been collected only in the last two years? This is a lot of data. This is massive data. This is what we call big data. And when we talk about big data, you think about all of the data we have around from YouTube videos, social media interaction, from traffic data, weather data, electricity data, medical images, and all of this kind of data. So I work with this data every day. My name is Zara Abdullah. I'm from Monash University School of Information Technology. And I'm going to talk today about one of the applications that's working intensively with this data, which is in electricity. So when we talk about electricity data that has been deployed almost in every house in Victoria that reports a smart meter data every half an hour. So consider that we have 48 readings per day per house and we have this for a year or for many years. So now the question is how can we apply machine learning techniques to understand different patterns in this data, different user behavior in this data, different profiles and users and how to communicate between this and the weather data and other information like the price of electricity renewables and all of this. Understanding power consumption will bring benefits to everyone. So for end users and for customers, they will understand their consumption of data and that will actually, according to research, will help reduce 10% of their power consumption. It will actually help with uh, reducing the belt shock we have at the moment. The other thing for the regulators, how they better plan for the network, how they plan for the demand response, how we actually can install the right renewables at the right place and right time. And it will help with the dynamic pricing for different times of the year and different times of the day. And this is one application of how to use data in action and many other applications on how to get the power into the data. So thanks for listening.